Maybe I'll get you to rebuild my old Bronco motor for me. Yeah! I'd love to. I have been itching to rebuild another motor, Ed. If you fund the operation. Oh, of course I'm going to fund the operation. Great. I would love to. I would get up at like, you don't even have to pay me. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. You two can do it together. Yeah, Ed, you want to do it with me? I can, I can fit into the little like back of the engine stuff. Yeah, but if you're going to put, if you're going to put it on social media, I need to get a haircut. All right, then. That's how you pay me in content. That'd be so fun, Ed. I'm serious. I am totally serious. You can ask Eric. I've been scheming on how I can rebuild another engine. I'm going to the mad professor with my car. You are a mad professor. I'm not smart enough to be a mad professor. I'm just, I'm, just I, I, I'm smart enough just to be mad. I'm, I used to be smart enough to choke me on the street. <laughs> Eric, I might have to give up on this freaking hose attaching situation. Yeah, I'm trying, but I just can't get it to take. Uh oh, somebody's welding something. Andy is. What's he welding? Andy's fabricating. Uh, uh, oh. My, my client said orange green. Yeah. That train has been on a couple different chassis and he keeps running into the California smog tier diesel stuff where they obviously the chassis. And so he went out and bought a 19, 2024, uh, 2023 international <laughs> chassis. Had the crane guys over in deliver. Oh, wait, I think I got it. I never doubted you, me, you me doubted you. <laughs> yeah, the crane guys in Livermore <laughs> mount that crane on the brand new chassis. did a beautiful job. But he would like some underbed toolboxes, and he would like a stainless steel basket built, one on each side for uh, throwing ropes and tire chocks and stuff in. And Andy's fabricating all that. Oh, wow. Yeah, go check it out. He does really good work with this. When he stops talking, 